what's very certain is if we try to stay and go against the flow, it's exhausting. Do you think life is exhausting sometimes or you struggle to just deal with everything you have to deal with? Then this video is for you. What I'm going to share with you um, came up today in a coaching session with one of my clients and um, I think it's very relevant for a lot of people. She came into the session saying that um, she has fears and she doesn't know how to react to them and it's it's exhausting. And um, it's actually really beautiful how those fears came up in the first place because <clears throat> she's rediscovering the beauty of life. With that now came the fear of like, I can lose all of that. You know, this person might die, this might happen. So the context is a very um, interesting one, beautiful one, actually, that, that in her spiritual development, now seeing the beauty, there's now also the thought of what if I lose it? And that thought creates the fear. So we went into a um, specific situation where she said those kind of thoughts came up and she had to cry. And it was so exhausting and I asked why? And um, as she explained, it became very clear to me that what is exhausting is <clears throat> to try to go against what is happening. So she felt like, I don't want to cry because then I have to explain myself and then maybe I make other people uncomfortable so this shouldn't happen right now. And all of that thinking, that was exhausting. That was straining her which it would do to everyone. It's very exhausting to think it shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't be like this. I have to be different than I am. Like this emotion shouldn't be present right now. And as she was explaining and we were just exploring that, I, I got this, this image in my mind um, of <clears throat> a river. A river as a, a metaphor for our life. If you're in the river and you know, you're swimming against the current, at this part of the river and you, you you know it you know like this is you think this is how it should be and if it changes i don't like that right so you the river more water is coming you have to swim against it and it's very exhausting if instead you just let go of that and then you flow with the river you flow with life it's not exhausting it's um an adventure you know parts of the river might be very wild and there are stones and then there's even a waterfall and you fall down and then there are maybe parts where the river goes really broad, wide, and it's super calm. That's how life is, right? We, we don't know what's coming. We don't know what's down the river. What's very certain is if we try to stay and go against the flow, it's exhausting. It takes energy. Applying that to, to her situation, it was the issue was not that emotions came up or like the thought, you know, of like, what if this happens? created fear and then with that fear and the fear of loss came tears. Um, that wasn't the exhausting part. The exhausting part was to resist it. Yeah, and we, we, we all do that so often, right? And we are not aware of it very often. So I hope that resonated with you um, and it gave you hope that life doesn't have to be exhausting for you. We, we have the power at any moment, the choice at any moment to stop persisting and to go with the flow. That's it for this video. Yeah, and, and if you want support in your life, um, getting back more into the flow of life and enjoying the journey, then uh, feel free to contact me. I have slots available to work with one-on-one -on -one clients. Um, I'm also offering a group container now. Uh, so that might be another interesting option to be in um, a container with like-minded people who have um, the desire to live an amazing life, to have an impact. We're going to explore things like, like that. Um, where are we resisting life? In which areas of our life? For example, that's only um, a part of it. There's a lot more. Hope you're having a beautiful rest of your day, beautiful rest of your evening or night or whenever you watch this. Thank you and speak soon. Peace.